Hello everybody and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial with myself, Floody. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to add grass and foliage and plants to our scene using the foliage tool in Unreal Engine 5. Um, I'm now I'm going to assume that you already know how to import assets from Quixel Bridge. Uh, if you don't, please check out my tutorial uh, because we're going to skip this part because I've already added them in. Uh, it's very easy. Just check my other tutorial out in my videos. Um, I've recently added it, so it's only a few videos back. Um, and we can just kick start, uh, kick start you straight back here and get these added in. So we've got a kind of a scene here. Uh, if I hit play, you can see I've got this little pirate dude on some sort of tropical oasis with a, <laughs> a very misplaced... Uh, block down there yeah so um what this scene could obviously benefit from uh is some foliage to kind of uh, set the scene off a little bit so how we do that is i'll come out of there so top left hand corner you've got select mode hit foliage and you'll get this screen if you've imported plants and grass and different types of assets from uh the mega scans Unreal Engine will automatically detect that it's foliage and add it into this little uh, box here. So if I went to the paint mode here, I can now select which type of uh, foliage or plants or grass that I want in the scene by just clicking on them, making sure that these ticks are uh, uh, blue ticks are in the boxes. And then I can hit, uh, make this a little bit smaller. So you've got the brush sizes up here, the brush density. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at some of these now. So if I, this little blue bubble, if I left click here, as you can see, it's added a lot of foliage, where are you, into this scene. So that's obviously a little bit too much. Okay, so we can tone this down a little bit with the brush density. So if I drag this down a little bit more, oh, that's the brush size. If I drag this down a little bit more, and what you'll find now is that it's more spaced out. See the gaps there compared to this one here? And we can drag it down a little bit further. And a little bit further again. I didn't put any in there. So what you can see there, that's how the brush tool, uh, the brush density tool works. So along with that, you've got a lot of different types of things in here. So um, there's grass in here. There's a, so if I control it, uh, control an A in here and then D, so I'll deselect all of them. All right. So I've got normal grass and you obviously wouldn't use normal grass on a beach. So I just oh, selected them all again. Right. Nope, I don't want you all. I just want a few. There we go. So I'll just add some normal grass if you was working on like a tundra scene or or some sort of mountain uh, mountain scene. So drag this down a little bit and you can just go ahead and add this in. We'll turn the paint density up to say one. And just start filling that in. And as you can see, when these shaders render, we can zoom in a little bit and now it looks like grass. So we'll just run over there. And as that populates, you can see the grass on the floor there. And the plants that we added and the more plants that we added and the way more plants that we added so that's basically how you add foliage to your scenes um you can get really creative with this you know you can make it look as busy or as non-busy as you would really want to you can just keep adding uh, more types of grass you can add trees to this too as you can see, that density is uh, is right up there. And if I take this brush size way up, you can just fill this place with grass. Really fill that in. Hit play. And as you can see, it all there on the sand. It doesn't really go, but you get the idea. And that's how you add plants and grass to this. So the next what we look at is wind. Now, as you can see, these plants are currently swaying in the wind. I'm not really sure if the grass one is. Yes, it is. Right. So mine's already activated, but I'll just show you guys how to activate it now. So bear with me one second. If I come out of this, 
So what we need to find is uh, these in our content draw, basically our foliage uh, scans in the content draw. So come down here, if you've imported them from uh, mega scans, it'll be in your mega scan folder. So we just collapse a few of these, so I know where I am. There we go. So, so one of these is called Ginger Lily, okay? You want to look for this material instance, double click it, and you've got this box that opens up here. Scroll down on the right hand side to wind. Enable grass wind, tick both boxes, and then you can change up the wind intensity, the speed, and the height of the wind, etc. And I can just disable those again by clicking off them, by clicking them off. So if I shut that down, you can see some of them have stopped now. This one here, right in front of us here, stopped. So that's obviously the material instance for that mode, whilst those ones are still going completely nuts so if i come out to say the uh the other one and down to this one here here turn the wind off for you and it's the same for turning them off and oh that one is already off okay here back down to you the wind off for the other one there's a few material instances for a lot of content so it's pretty good and it's pretty fast and as you can see the wind is off now on these uh sort of uh exotic looking plants but it's probably still on for the grass because i didn't turn the grass off yeah the grass is still swaying so that's how you can turn the wind on and off and uh, change some change some wind settings to uh, make it look a little bit more realistic Okay, and that's it guys. Very simple, very straightforward, short and sharp uh, beginner tutorial for adding grass, uh, different types of foliage and wind to your scenes. Like, comment and subscribe if you like my content. And as I said in previous videos, I'm fairly new to YouTube. I'm just going to be bringing some uh, very beginner uh, basic tutorials to uh, to you guys for Unreal Engine 5. Okay, thanks guys.